crowd are going to be with us here. The big following for Hong Yang here in the pavilion tonight. Coming up to 6 pm local time here in Singapore. Yang in red. And it's Norden in blue. one because Hong Yang has brought a big swathe of support with him. So the crowd are going to be behind red, but can the fighter deliver? Height nice advantage you can see for Arif Nordin. from Hong Yang. Oh, little feint from Hong Yang. Feint with the right, tries to go with the left, but Arif Nordin ends up coming forward with some quick hands of his own. They've both got really quick hands. Arif Nordin. Hands like firecrackers going off. Bang, bang, bang. And he's not going to be tricked into coming in too early. Again, that height advantage working against Arif Norden in that occasion, but there'll be plenty of occasions in the next eight and a half minutes or so where it works for him. Remember, three three-minute rounds this contest. Oh, that was a, a shot from Arif Norden that caught Hong Yang on the retreat. He goes with a nice combination to the body, then to the head, Hong Yang. Looks like he's got a boxing mind on his brain, Hong Yang. Tell you, fainting and coming in, coming out. And Arif Nordin is strong, determined, and focused, and is not being lulled, lulled, lulled into any tricks that Hong Yang's trying to perform so far. Little faint in connection from Hong Yang. Another nice combination from Eric Norden. So both fighters giving and receiving in this opening three minute blast. just going backwards once more and clearly that's the advantage that Norden is possessing with that height and reach advantage and around one still two three minute rounds to go and a throw forward after this like 17 on the card is a light world away contest between Yap Kai Shang and Luke Long Ying from Fist of Spartans and Legends Fight School respectively that's next after Hong Yang and Arif Norden fights to a conclusion. Two three minute rounds remaining.
both to start this to round two. Again, neither man really able to impose themselves totally on this fight yet. They're both seemingly capable of giving as good as they receive as long as they can make the breakthrough. Okay now, complaining, I think about a clash of heads now. He's gnawed him, but he definitely caught him flush there with one. That left sent gnawed in backwards momentarily. And I wonder if Hong Yang senses now he might have a chance to make a breakthrough in this second round. Gnawed in now, coming straight back. Good evasive action from Hong Yang. Two really good fighters, this. Fast hands from both of them. And they both so far caught their opponent with some decent shots. You can hear the instructions coming from Hong Yang's corner, all about the fake. That's clearly a makeup of his tactics is to fake one side and go in with the other. Eric Norden turns him round well there and he was shaken from that Hong Yang shot about 30 seconds ago. He's recovered very quickly indeed. They both know enough about each other already to know that they're going to have to show each other plenty of respect for the round and a bit that remains here. Another one that's going to be tricky for the judges to clap to score should it continue in this vein. somewhat towards the end of this round after some exciting action in the first half of the stanza. Oh, that's a nice right from Eric Norden. Good ring craft. Spun Yang Hong Yang round there and caught him in one. It's a great time to score a punch like that right at the end of the round. The old shots are freshest in the judges' minds as they score. Final round on the way. Mind that still 10 fights coming your way on this card, including two female contests there on the way, live on the Ringstar Facebook page. advantage that at times he's put to good use but again complaining for the second time Norden there of clash of heads I think and that's because understandably Hong Yang sort of getting close to negate the reach advantage that Arif Norden's got very 
Keen Arsenal and every time Hong Yang comes in close he's anxious to jump out of that pocket as soon as he can. That was a nice little combination from Nordin. Hong Yang wants him to let go. And now as we enter the final half of the final round. Interesting that neither of the two corners is particularly animated. animated. Fewer instructions being beckoned to both fighters in this fight that we've seen in some of the previous contests. Oh, uh, nice combination of Maris Nordin. Hong Yang tries to fight back, but Nordin there uh, got in and out after that attack with relative comfort. Uh, almost looked for a minute, it was the arm that caught him on the side of the head. Hong Yang there, not the fist of Maris Nordin. Oh, that was a nice leading left jab from Nordin. Hong Yang tries to drag him in. He's on the ropes now, Hong Yang. Eric Nordin's trying to unload. Hong Yang still ducking, doing the business. But they are. Don't think there's much strength left in these punches that are coming in from Nordin. Referee's going to have a chat with him. Fresh and crisp shots that are landing from either fight now. It's turning into a bit of a. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that one, though. Up until that point, this round had been a bit scrappy and. With few, few constructive shots thrown and landed, but that was the exception to the rule in the final three minutes. Contact. What a timeout now. Oh, it's the bloody nose. Is it a bloody nose from Hong Yang? I think it is. The referee's going to have a look at it. It's about the fourth bloody nose we've had, and that would have been from that fine Arif Nordin shot. There was one shot mixed in there from Hong Yang. The crowd liked it. Support from Hong Yang liked it. But I'm not so sure it connected in the eyes of the judges. So the nose has been cleaned up. They're down to the final throws of the final round. And Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the appetite to come forward straight away again. It may not be technically pretty, but no one's doubting Hong Yang's heart and desire. And we go to the judges' scorecards after three rounds. Will it be Hong Yang in red? Or Larry Norton in blue? We're about to find out with that crowd.